the fall away. Handed it sky and above the trees for that board. And as she saved it in bounce, it went to Juhas, and a foul picked up in the backcourt by Ogumake. There's contact to the head of Juhas. Anytime there's contact to the head or face, they typically want to go over and take a look at it. Certainly going after the basketball there was Neka. They're going to look at it for sure. Sparks fans, of course, Let's see it again. You see Neka, of course, going for, looks like she's going for the ball here. Going back to Samuelson, you, but she's, we've yet to have one of those tonight. But officials are going to huddle up and make the decision here. So we'll see if we can get a, an explanation. But you see the hand right across the face there of Juhas by Neka. And Juhas going to be held back. So it's a common foul against Ogumake. You see Juhas there. She's still trying to shake off the cobwebs. Needed some assistance getting back to the Minnesota bench area. And now Cheryl Reeve getting an explanation as Juhas going to head straight back to the locker room. The third quarter, there is Dorka Juhas on the Minnesota bench. She's back from the locker room. She left in the first half in concussion protocol. She's listed as questionable now to return with a nose injury.